A toy store that couldn't care less about Black Friday? This is News on Main, your connection to small business. The modest-sized city of Jackson, Michigan is home to one of the largest independent family-owned toy stores in the country. Phil Rosinski's Toy House is a small fish in a big pond, with retailers like Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, and not one but two Kmarts nearby. We're the only ones over here with all them over there. The Toy House is a favorite neighborhood destination and has been thriving since 1949 among the big box stores. We're the only ones offering the experience where everybody else is offering kind of the same Me Too, bunch of toys at discount prices. Besides an annual clearance sale, they don't mark down merchandise because it sends the wrong message. It tells the customers prices are negotiable and we're overpriced to begin with. We don't like to be overpriced to begin with. While his independent toy shop doesn't slash prices like the big chains, Phil says they offer something the box stores just can't. The one calling card that I have is the service. When I call customer service, I really say customer experience. It's not just service anymore, it's, it's the whole experience. And so we want to make that experience as fun and memorable as we can. A key component to creating that unforgettable experience is having a good staff. Bill says he used to hire based on experience, but learned it's more important to look for character. I need people that are friendly, caring, people that are problem solvers, people that are engaging, that want to help other people. And if I get someone that has those character traits, I can teach them everything else. The Toy House uses social media to connect with their customers. Last year, Phil pit two competing toys against each other and had customers vote for their favorite on Facebook. And so here I was using Facebook to do a couple different things. Number one, engage the customer. Number two, get their opinion. I learned so much valuable information about what they did and didn't like on certain toys that made, makes it easier for our buyers to know what to get. Number three, the customers were selling the toys for me. Phil says he's cautiously optimistic about this holiday season. There isn't that hot, overwhelming toy that's emerging yet, so there isn't that one thing that's going to drive people all over town. And when you don't have that one toy, you want to go to the store that has the most toys. So I'm feeling pretty good about what we have going. The Toy House won't be open early like the chains on Black Friday, but they'll have plenty of coffee and smiles to go around. That's your news on Maine, your connection to small business. Thanks for watching.